tell me a story about Biddy Early? Sure. <laughs> 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 Which story would you like? <laughs> about when she would make butter, maybe? <coughs> oh, I think I have a story about butter. <coughs> Just need to take my glasses. <coughs> <coughs> you know, the butter story is in the middle of the book. A long time ago, longer than your granny would remember, people relied on local healers as a source of wisdom. Biddy Early was a woman who was well known here a long time ago. She lived in a tiny town of Fiekel in County Clare. And she was one of those wise women. But you wouldn't want Biddy Early to get mad with you, because then you would have to face her wrath. There once lived a farmer who did not heed her advice. And so Biddy Early decided to take revenge on him by stealing his butter. One night, she dug out a dead calf and buried it again in his garden. So in the morning when his wife started churning butter, she couldn't churn anything more than froth. Biddy was so pleased with herself running away with the butter. But then she saw the apple tree and knew she could do even more damage. But Biddy didn't know, the woman told her husband, and he was very cross. When he saw the apple in her hand, he ran after her. He took out his knife and he cut off the end of the apple. Pure new milk ran out. <laughs> that was a good story, Mom. <laughs> but, but was Biddy early a bad witch? <laughs> no, she wasn't a bad witch. She actually sometimes helped people with their butter. You see, one thing was a farmer. She used to visit every farmer's house in the parish. One day, Biddy came into a house and found a sad woman churning her milk. Oh no, my milk's not turning into butter. Help, Biddy. She reached for a coal of fire. And threw it into her butter barrel. The cream turned into butter. Biddy saved the farmer's butter. <laughs> so how does Biddy Early get her powers then? <laughs> well, a long, long time ago. One day in Plassey Village she stumbled upon a fairy. Some people say that Biddy Early was herself a fairy. Don't worry, changeling child, I'm a fairy. Here's your bottle. <laughs> so... <laughs> Bottle to heal people? <laughs> the bottle she got from the fairies granted Biddy magical powers. It was a powerful scrying object so she could first see the future. Among the many things she got from the bottle was the ability to mix cures for any illness, as long as she didn't charge any money for it. She helped anyone who came to her, and she went to anyone who needed her help. Her bottle could heal both men and beasts if she reached the place early enough. Not everyone was happy that she had powers. There was suspicion that her powers came from the devil. Two centuries later, Mama Tina thought that she found Biddy's bottle and wanted to heal her child, and she knew that this could be her child's last chance of living. So, she sought out Biddy Early. She was referred to a woman who could tell her much about Biddy Early. May I help you? Hello. I'm glad you want to tell me a few stories. Stories about what? About Biddy Early? Biddy Early? Are you joking? This she took as a not so friendly warning. Are you Biddy Early? I'm Biddy Early, but you're Biddy Late. Majority of the Biddy Early stories end in a very sudden way.
We reenacted a couple stories from Biddy Early. I found the stories on duhrug.ie. I wrote the script. And then we both reenacted the stories. And then I edited the video and I put the video together. Originally we were supposed to film our video in Fieko, which is the small village in which Biddy Early lived. But since it's a small village, it's really difficult to get there. So we eventually decided to film at near the, the campus. Uh, we had to improvise a couple of our props. One of our props we had to improvise was the scene where I had the apple in my hand and Tina was chasing me with the knife. Uh, that whole scene we had to improvise, but it worked out smoothly. And one of our scenes with the calf, um, we weren't able she, to get a dead we, calf. Yeah, we weren't able to get a dead calf, so we just included it in the narration so it would run smoothly, smoother. We actually used the narration in many different places to kind of make up for lack of were originally written by children, and many of them were either too short or too long or too complicated or ended too abruptly. So we decided to combine different stories into one or combine the stories with the story by Eddie Lanahan. Uh, some other decisions that we had to make uh, besides combining the stories together is we had to keep track of time which meant that some of our scenes from the stories that Tina just talked about had to be cut short because this was a four to five minute project and we couldn't get everything what we wanted into a four to five minute project so we had to cut that down. Um, what we learned from this video project is from what we researched uh, just the different versions of the stories of Biddy Early and both good and bad views that people had on her or what she did. So it was pretty fun. I, I enjoyed this project. It was very fun to make. Our roommate, our roommates thought that we were very crazy when we were filming this inside and outside of our house. <laughs> so we had a good time. So yeah. Okay, bye.